as you already know, I'm kind on the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to explain to you in very clear terms the concept of callbacks in Node.js. And callbacks in Node.js is the same as it applies to Vue.js, React.js, Angular, uh, AngularJS, and every other framework or libraries out there. So it's something you need to understand if you are programming in 2018 or, or in, at this time. So I'm going to explain it using, using an illustration and I'm using a visual a VS code as the editor I'm using, but you can use any other editor you have. If you want to see how to set up Node.js, look at the previous lessons in this series or in this playlist, all right? So let's get started. This is a normal function I've written. Let me just make the font a little bigger. Okay, good. This is a normal function I've written. Function, function name, and then the body of the function. To call this, before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. So hit the subscribe button below so that you motivate me to keep making these lessons. And uh, if you have any challenge, let me know as well. So just subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button. So this is a normal function. To call this function, you simply specify the name of the function and this is how to call this function. So if I run this application now by saying app, sorry, node, and the file name app.js, you see that it displays learning node.js, which is what is happening right here. Now, this is a normal function. Now, a callback is a function that is called two times. What does it mean? The name means callback, meaning that the first time is called, uh, it, it starts executing. The second time it is called, it completes the execution and returns the data. So that is why it is called callback, because it's called the first time to start. A second time the function is called, uh, it completes execution and returns the data. So you can actually read uh, the explanation right here in my website. You can find the link in the description box. So let's now see why callback is very important because you may want to read a file from a disk and the disk is very, very slow. So what it means is that if it's a callback, it means that the program can continue to execute. But when this reading of file from the a disk completes, the function is called again to then provide the data from the disk. So let's do it at this point. Let me write a function. This time I'm going to write a callback function. So before I write it, let me just show you the syntax of the callback function. So the syntax of the callback function goes this way. It says, now I'm going to create a variable, uh, a file system variable is equal to require is equal to uh, variable f, fx is equal to require uh, fx. So I'm creating a file system object. And let me read a file from a disk. The part is this part. I have it in my drive D. The location of the file is uh, node files. And the name of the file is test imputes.txt. Now, this is the content of this file in case you just want to see just one single line of uh, text in this file, all right? So now I'm going to, okay, so why is it giving me an error? Variable, okay, variable uh, f, uh, variable paths, okay? So let's read this file without using a callback, using a normal code to read this function, to read this file. So again, the code is here. So to extract the, the data, I'm going to just say data is equal to, data is equal to fx dot read file sync. So if you say read file sync, this function is a normal function, not a callback. It's just a normal function that reads the file synchronously, meaning that the execution of the code will wait for this file to be read, return the data, run the code and then continue execution. So and that is where the problem starts. So you have to specify the path to the file, the file paths, all right? So now I'm going to just display the content of the file by saying uh, console, 
sorry so this is this is the uh, data is equal to okay so i'm going to say console.log and then i'm specifying data dot to string dot to data dot uh, console.log Okay, I'm simply going to use test exe. I'm going to say txe dot to string. All right, so this is what I want to do. So at this point, I've, I'm reading this file and displaying the content and the output. All right, so let's see how it goes. I'm going to save and then let's run it. So I'm going to come back here and say. So at this point it says for update subscribe to YouTube channel the Tech Pro. So this is the content of this file displayed. And then after then it calls the display at this point to display to, to display this this one. Alright. Now let's use a callback. If we use a callback, we'll see that the callback that is reading from a file is the last thing that is going to be executed. Even though you place this callback. In the beginning of the code is going to execute last because reading from a disk takes more time than running a normal code so let me just take out this let me take out this read file async so also let me take out this for now or let me just copy it to my clipboard let me cut it to my clipboard all right so we have the 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 to read the file using a callback, I'm going to just say, now the code is also given here, I'm going to just say fx.read file. This time I'm going to say read file, not read file scene, read file is a callback. So I'm going to specify the path and then I'm going to specify the function to callback. So that is it. So take note that this is a complete function that is nested inside this callback. All right. So you can expand it as I'm going to do right now. So you can expand it inside this function. You can specify the code you want to be sorry. So inside this function, you can now specify the code that will be executed. So let me just expand this so that we can just write it okay so inside this function this callback function you will now want to display to read this file inside here and then display the content and let's check whether it's going to display it's going to run uh, later or it's going to run in the beginning so let me now paste this code I have here and I'm going to simply say let me just copy what I have here so that I don't waste any time so you say if error occurs display the error in the outputs if not just display the contents of the file okay let me just take all this all right so this is a callback as, as, it, uh, as it stands now so let me let me just write some things here console.log some tests. So one thing I want to explain to you is that this code will run and the callback is going to run after all this code have run have been executed. So I'm going to put a semicolon, put more semicolon. So take note of what is happening here. We have a function, we have a callback at this point, at this point. Okay, and we have some other code that is going to execute at this point, and we have this function call at this point. Let's run it and let's see what happens. Save. So let's run it at this point. Okay. So, okay, we have some error. So if, oh, so I need to actually put ERR and data. Okay, so. I'm going to just clear my screen for now, clear, and rerun it. First, I'm going to save. All right, so take note of what is happening. So we have some tests executing. Let me increase the fonts. So here we have some tests executed. 
which is this some face as a cutate, which is this tree as a cutate, and then Lenin node js, which is this one as a cutate, this display, calling the other function, which is this one. While at the end of the line was when this callback was called, or this callback executed. Because when it was reading from the disk, it's taking some time, some milliseconds, and reading from the disk, even if it's for milliseconds, it's very slow. So while it's doing that, all these other codes actually executed. So after the code is executed, when the data comes back from the disk, it now executed the callback. It now called back this function and executed it, and it worked. Again, so this is the content of the file that was executed at the end of the line. So while the callback is here, all these other codes after the callback was executed before the callback function returned the data and printed in the output. So now I have a beautiful explanation as well as all the as all the steps in my website here in kindsonthegenesis.com slash node.js and then I'm going to put the link in the description box. So try to understand that callback is a function that is executed when data is available, uh, is executed asynchronously. That is, while it is performing some task, the normal code is running, and once it completes the task, it returns the data and is called back to provide this data. So that is how callbacks work. And I would like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed to my channel. And let me know if you have any challenges, and we'll see you in the next lesson.